We're just going to do one through ten. You want to hit one of the lights for me, Bill? We'll make it better. Okay, so the distance formula. These first ones just have the lines, they don't have the coordinates for you. So, you gotta find the coordinates. This is one over two down, over one down two, and this is left one, two, three, four, five, and up one, two, three, four, five. One, negative two. Over one, down two. Left five, up five. So the distance formula is x minus x, and remember it doesn't matter what order you subtract them in. I always try to keep them positive. So one, take away negative five, is? Negative four. four. No. Six. Six. One, take away negative five, is? Six. Six squared plus I'll just do it this way so I don't get a negative 5 take away negative 2 is 7 because remember negatives cancel Wait. and then square root it yes couldn't you just um instead of doing all that complicated stuff just count the block no not a diagonal <laughs> No, I'm talking about the ones on the side, like the triangle like you're saying. Oh, you can do the Pythagorean theorem, yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah. Do that. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot easier. That's what but now, easy. the reason why you do need to learn it this way, because most of the time, they're just going to give you two oh, points. Yeah, and you don't want to have to draw a graph every time. It's fine if you do it on the graph, though. You sure can. So, 6 squared plus 7 squared, square rooted. Round to the nearest tenth. You're gonna get it yet? Oh, I got an error. I got 9.2. You should get 9.2. Have you put it in these calculators? These, okay, yeah, the different calculators, the smaller ones. You got to do the inside first. You got to go six squared plus seven squared, press equals, and then hit the square root. On the big calculators, you press the square root sign first, and then put six squared plus seven squared, and it equals. This is Jager Boy. I don't know if I'm going to get this I'm sure it hurt it. Okay, so. Number two. This is left five and up one. So negative five, one. This one is over four, up zero. So. The x minus x, you may want to write this formula down so you got it. x minus x squared plus y minus y squared, and then square root it if you want to put it on the top. <clears throat> so the x take away the x. Again, it doesn't matter which way I do it. Negative 5 take away 4 is negative 9. But remember, if you get a negative, what should you do? You should turn it into Just a drop it off because it's going to turn positive anyway. Plus y minus y, 1 take away 0 is 1 squared, and then you square root it. So again, on the smaller calculators, you got to do the inside first. You got to go 9 squared plus 1 squared, and then press the square root sign. What is it round to? 9.1, because it's 9.05. So the zero would round up to one. Now, just to point this out, I'm going to skip down and do one of these. Four and five, do you need to use the distance formula? No. Because you can just count. When it's, whenever it's vertical, whenever it's horizontal, just count the spaces. What is that? So then you just... D equals however far it is. 
you not to solve it? No, because if it's if it's horizontal, you can just count. It's one, two, three, four spaces. It's four units long. Same thing if it's vertical, you can just count. If it's if it's not, we don't know how long those are. So you can't just count when it goes at an angle. Wow. So remember, we're not going to do 11 and 12. Um, I'll just skip down and do 7. x minus x, negative 2, take away a negative 7, is 5. Because remember your subtract rules, change the sign, change the sign. If you can't do it in your head, just punch it in the calculator. So that would be 5 squared plus 3 take away a negative 7 is 10. Because you change the sign, change the sign. And then you square root it. Clear, clear, clear. 11.5. Eleven point what? Five. Two. Just a break, bro. It's eleven point one eight, which is around eleven point two. Okay. So for number eight. <laughs> the x minus x, 2 take away negative 1 is 3, because three, you change the sign, change the sign. So it's 3 squared plus the y minus the y. Now I'm going to do it backwards. 4 take away negative 9 is 13 squared. If you would have did it this way, you would have got negative 13 squared. Yes. Do you think we could do 11 and 12 for extra credit? Sure. No. So, 3 squared plus 13 squared. 13.3. Hi, Don. I'm Mason. Whoa. Good one, Mason. So, number 8, the distance is 13.3. So, yeah, you can sure do 11 and 12 for extra credit if you want. Great.